a man of God, filled with the word of God. Pastor Paul is something else. It's, it's just too loaded. Yes, sir. You are right, Mr. Sir. Brother Tyre. <laughs> Papa, how are you? That was a good production. Thank you, sir. So the Lord bless you. Amen. <laughs> Well, you see, processor actually, yes, every one of us is a blessing <laughs> in this local assembly. <laughs> yes, and uh, you know, we need to return all the glory back to God for what He uses us to do for Him. You said everyone is a blessing, of course. Yes, everybody is a blessing. Yes, what of Sister Ruda, uh, whose spiritual fire is nothing to talk about? Uh, anytime she's teaching the word of God, can't you see that she's always. Boring? She's not entertaining. Hey, bro, please hold on, hold it. Please stop that. Lord, I'm sorry. God, please forgive me. I'm sorry for disdaining this daughter of Zion. I'm sorry, Lord. Please deliver me from the sin of third bearing and hypocrisy. Ah, oh, God. Sorry. I'm sorry.
me open the gate now. Ah, okay. committed together. Now, you have gone. You have left me the law eh, to bear the guilt of pushing you to sin against an innocent sister.
Ah, she has been calling. Ah. Oh. What is this? Ah, thank God. Thank God. I want to go and spend some time with my parents. Ah, I will be back soon. I had called your line several. Reason why I sent in this message. Thanks. Ah! Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. But come to think of it. This revelation is a pointer. This dream is so significant. Very, very significant. And I think I need to restitute my ways fast before it is too late. Ah, it should defeat me. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. Oh, good day, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. I hope I'm not um in any way disturbing you. I'm uh, not at all, sir. All right, all right. I actually felt a nudge in my spirit to tell you that it's proper for you to restitute your ways with Sister Rhoda. Exactly, sir. Yes. Because you know scriptures enjoins us to strive to have a conscience that is void of offense towards God and man. So restituting your ways with Sister Rhoda will make your repentance complete. In fact, you are taking the words out of my mouth. Wow, that's nice. But sir, can you please arrange for a meeting between Aya and Sister Rhoda in your office? Oh, why not? Why not? Um, can we schedule a meeting? For 12 noon in my office by tomorrow. Thank you so much, bro. I, I will get across to Sister Rhoda so I can notify her about the meeting. Thank you very much, bro. The Lord bless you. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Ah, <sighs> ah, <sighs> what a coincidence. Let me call Rhoda. God is big. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Good. Um, please, I will want to meet with you in my office by 12 noon tomorrow. Okay, sir. Good. Thank you. Bye, sir. Bye. I called for this meeting um, so that we can actually practice what we teach and what we believe. Uh, Brother Sesson? Yes, sir, bro, Paul. The ball is in your court now. Get the ball rolling. Sister Rhoda is here. <coughs> if 
if I may ask her, what is the matter, sir? Calm down, Sister Rhoda. Huh? Everything is all right. There's no problem. There's no cause for alarm. Brother Son. Yes, sir. Please. Sister Rhoda, you see, I need your forgiveness. I have actually wronged you a lot, and I want you to kindly forgive me. Wrong you? How? Where? When? You see, Sister Ruda, I have this feeling about you that you are not outspoken enough, as in that you are, you are boring, you are not entertaining. When you come to the issue of teaching out the word of God, you used to believe that you are not talented in that area. I have been indulging in hypocrisy and tape bearing about you. But now, I know for sure that it is not of him that will it or of him that run it, but it's of God that show it mercy. I even lured Sister Grace, who has now traveled to her parent place. I lured her into tape bearing and hypocrisy as well. What? Brother Sison? Yes, bro Paul. You did? I did! My God. I got the greatest shock of my life. When I wanted to bring this matter up, as in this act of hypocrisy, with um, Pastor Paul, our resident pastor here, and he made me to understand some mysteries, that you are a walking Bible. He made me to understand some mysteries, whom has just helped me to appeal to God to have mercy. Hold on, please. You said something just now. You mentioned something about me being a walking Bible. So what do you mean by that? <laughs> My wonderful sister Rhoda, you know what? It's a mystery actually, and the mystery is not far-fetched. You see, whoever lives according to the dictates of the word of God, the Bible, is more or less a walking Bible. It's more or less a living Bible. Because what the Bible teaches, such a person does it. Apostle James said in James chapter 1 verse 22, he said, Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, not deceiving your own selves. So this means that if we fail to live by the word that we hear, and we fail to do according to the details of the word, then we are only deceiving ourselves. He continued in verses 23 and 24. That if ye be hearers only and not doers of the word, that means such a person is just like someone who wakes up in the morning, prepares to go out, dresses up and stands in front of a mirror, then dashes out of the house, forgetting how he or she looks in the mirror. He then continued in verse 25, But if you follow after the perfect law of God, then God's blessings will be upon you. If you claim to be religious, if you claim to be a child of God and you cannot control your tongue, then you are only fooling yourselves. You are only making a fool out of yourselves and your religion, your profession of faith is worthless. So as believers, we have no right at all to tell bear, to backbite or indulge in one form of sin or the other no matter how big or small we term the same to be. We are to live in totality to this world. It's often said that our lives are books before the eyes of the people. People don't usually read the Bible nowadays. You understand now? Especially unbelievers. Hmm. This is so deep, sir. Bro, Paul, you are indeed a mentor to me. I just want you to continue to pray for me. I want to be the doer of the word. I hold no grudge whatsoever against you, simply because I never knew this was happening. Albeit, I forgive you from the depth of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Rhoda. Myself, I am not perfect. In fact, you have really challenged me with this step. You see, Brother Son, 
what you just did now is restitution as enshrined in the scriptures. So, you have done well. We thank God. Can we pray together? Yes, sir. Let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for your children. Thank you for what you are doing in them. What a wonderful person Brother Paul is. So he's been washing my back for me. Aww. <laughs> we all need a Brother Paul in our lives. 